okay welcome to my youtube channel friend my name is yusuf mudini and this is a truth tv so friend today we are looking case number two and this case number two is instead that how to derive the time period of the satellite so friend before derivation let's define what the meaning of the time period of the satellite so the time period of the satellite can be defined as is a time required by a satellite to complete one revolution so friend in order to derive this time period of satellite let's consider these figures below so here we have the s with a capital mass m and a small radius r and this small r is the radius of the s and we have the satellite with a small mass m which is travel around the s and it is travel around the s with a constant velocity v so friend here small h is height from the surface of the s to the satellite so friend the summation of this small h and small r we get capital r so friend this capital r is the mean distance it means that summation of h and r so friend in order to derive this time period just let me recall the very simplest formula of the velocity and this formula is given by the ratio of the distance over time so in our case this distance here is the distance around the cycle and this time is the time taken to complete one revolution so friend and this distance around the cycle is equal to the circumference of the cycle and this circumference from the concept of mathematics is given by 2 pi capital R so this capital T is a time period of the satellite and our task is to derive this T so we make the subject and the result is equal to 2 pi R over V so from the case number 1 the equation of V is given by square root of capital G times capital M over R so take this uh, equation and they put it from this equation so the result is equal to t which is equal to 2 pi r square root of capital r over capital g times capital m and uh, when we simplify this equation the result is given by t which is equal to 2 pi r cube over capital g times capital m whereby this capital R is the mean distance, which is equal to the summation of the small r and h. This capital G is the gravitation constant, and this capital M is the mass of the S. So, friend, this equation is an equation for the time period of the satellite. But uh, next year, I will upload the case number three for the different form of equation of this time period of satellite and the orbital velocity of the satellite. So, friend, thank you.